Hello, my name is Peter Morris. I'm the Senior Director of Studies for the Institute of Life and Earth Sciences. Biology teaching at both undergraduate and postgraduate level is based within this institute, which in turn is part of the School of Energy, Geosciences, Infrastructure and Society, or Aegis for short. My role is to coordinate the biology teaching. Biology is of course the study of living organisms and is a huge topic which as well as being scientifically fascinating has a massive impact on how we live our lives today and how we can live sustainably in the future. We, in common with other universities, can only cover a fraction of the totality of biology but in our programmes we believe we've captured the most interesting and relevant subjects for our students. The Institute of Life and Earth Sciences is both a research and a teaching institute and our teaching is firmly embedded in and led by our research. So this research can be broadly speaking split into two main areas. First, environmental biology and secondly, cell and molecular biology, although these disciplines do overlap. Environmental biology looks at the bigger picture of how organisms interact in the wider world and how man's activities impacts upon natural ecosystems. Whereas cell and molecular biology is more reductionist in its approach, looking to understand how molecules and cells function to carry out all the complex processes of living organisms, but also to harness the potential of living organisms to produce better foodstuffs and improved medicines. We currently offer five different biology degree programs. These are Biological Sciences, Biological Sciences Cell and Molecular, Biological Sciences Microbiology, Biological Sciences Human Health, and Marine Biology. The first two years of all of our biology degrees are taught in common, which means that there is a great deal of flexibility. You can move between programs right up to the end of second year. In year three and four, this is where specialization comes in. So the microbiologists study microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses. Human health looks at the totality of factors influencing well-being, diet, diseases and exercise, for example. Cell and molecular biology investigates the biochemistry and genetics of how cells function. And marine biology has a focus on the largest environment on the planet, the sea. The Biological Sciences degree has the greatest amount of flexibility as there are no fixed courses for years three and four, meaning that students can effectively design their own bespoke degree. We have excellent teaching facilities, both laboratory-based and also environmental. We have an outstation at St. Abbs on the East Coast, a campus in Orkney, and a research vessel on the West Coast. And these facilities are used by our undergraduate students for both field work and projects. All of our degrees are very hands-on. We take the view that biology is not a theoretical subject, but very much an applied science. So at Heriot Watt, a lot of your time will be spent in the laboratory or in the field, learning those techniques that you'll need later in your career. This training is an essential part of year four, where students carry out a research project as a major part of their final year. After graduation, our students go all over the world and into all sorts of jobs. For example, the biomedical and pharmaceutical industries are important employers of our graduates, as are the environmental monitoring agencies and associated industries. And research is also an important destination for our graduates, for example, MSc or PhD degrees. Whichever one of our degrees you choose, we look forward to seeing you at Harriet Watt and we'll do our best to make sure that your time with us is well spent and fulfilling.